everyone and welcome to another Google Ads tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create an audience signal for performance max campaigns in Google Ads. Before we go straight to the point, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And off we go. You are going to access your Google Ads account. Under campaigns, you are going to find the Google Ads campaign, the performance max campaign that you want to modify, and you are going to click on it. Once you enter your performance max campaign, you can also select it from the drop down menu here on top. You will go to asset groups from the left hand side. Now, here we have an asset group. Let's say that we want to create a signal for this asset group. You will see here a section called signals, and there is a pen next to it. We're going to click on this pen. Once we click on this pen, we are going to find the option that says audience signal. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to click add the saved audience signal. There is this button that says plus new audience. So here is how we can create a new audience signal. We are going to click on it. We're going to give a name. So I'm going to call it new audience signal. And you are not going to misspell it like me. So new audience signal. And here we have a couple of options to go with. Before we start selecting the different options, keep in mind that this is called a signal. Signal is not targeting. What this means is that whatever you create here is going to be a suggestion to the algorithm. This is what a signal does. It is not your targeting. So it doesn't mean that if you come here and you select some criteria, your campaign is going to target only people adhering to this criteria. Your campaign is going to target people adhering to what you're going to select here, but it is also going to go above and beyond because this is an audience signal and a signal means a suggestion. So how can we do the best possible job here? There are a couple of options. We can use our data. We can select interest and demographics, and we can also select detailed demographics. Now, under our data, here we can select audiences coming from our Google Analytics and also from our Google Ads, remarketing audiences, right? So we can select here remarketing audiences that we synced from our Google Analytics or we created through our Google Ads tag, the pixel of our Google Ads, or we can very quickly click here, create a new segment if we don't have any, for example, and we can create remarketing audiences through our Google Ads. So once this page loads, this is what we will be able to do with this screen. There are different options to create audiences through Google Ads. You can create audiences relevant to website visitors, meaning people who visit a specific pages coming from Google Ads to your website. You can create audiences by uploading data, email addresses, or phone numbers. You can create audiences relevant to people who interact with forms. Or if you are an app, you can create audiences relevant to app users. Or you can go with Google Analytics audiences or YouTube if you have a YouTube channel connected to your Google Ads. So we can use this option to create these audiences on the spot in case we don't have anything ready-made. So as a first step, ideally include at least one segment that comes from your data, your first party data. From there, under interest and detailed demographics, you can find many options. What are the options? In-market segments. In-market segments or in-market audiences are people who are actively looking to make a transaction in different categories. This is why they are called in-market. This is option number one. Live events, self-explanatory. You can target people who are going through creating a business. You can target people who are going through renovating a house, changing jobs, getting married, getting a new pet, buying a new apartment, retiring, and so forth. Then we have some detailed demographics. You can target parents. You can target people who are single or married. You can target people based on their education 
levels. You can target people based on their employment status and so forth. So this is the option under detailed demographics. Then we can go with affinity audiences. So this is relevant to browser behavior. And then we have custom interests. So custom interest basically means here that we're going to click on plus new segment again. And we can create segments based on certain websites that our audience is frequently visiting, competitive websites or similar websites with our business. Or we can create a segment based on the type of the apps that they interact with. So ideally, I would recommend you to include at least a couple, if not more, options under interest and detail demographics. And last, we have demographics. So under demographics, we have gender, we have age, and then we have parental status and household income. A couple of things here as suggestions from my end. Always include unknown because a large chunk of Google's audience is classified as unknown when it comes to gender and age group. So if you remove the unknown, then you run the risk of limiting your audience too much. From there, also keep in mind that household income is not very accurate in emerging markets. Household income is accurate in markets like USA, UK, Australia, perhaps certain countries in Europe. But if you are targeting Nepal, if you are targeting Cambodia, if you are targeting Indonesia, Thailand, any emerging market, household income is not really something that is very accurate. You can play with it, but it's not really going to help you a lot. So my suggestion is to give some directions also under demographics. So long story short, you need to make sure that your signal includes at least one option under your data interest and digital demographics and also demographics for it to be a complete signal. Then you're going to save it. And let's say now, for example, that you created this signal and you want to apply it to some of your other asset groups or you want to, to apply it, uh, for example, to, to a different asset group in a different campaign, what are you going to do? Once again, you're going to go to campaigns. You're going to select the performance max campaign you would like to modify. So let's say this one. And then under asset groups, you are going to click here on the pen. And here under the pen and next to audience signal, you are going to select the option of add the saved audience signal. And you are simply going to select the signal that you just created here. If this is how you would like to modify your suggested targeting. Once again, this is suggested targeting. That's it. Creating an audience signal has a lot of options. You will have to go through a lot of different selections. However, as a piece of advice, don't overthink it because this is not your targeting. This is a suggestion to the algorithm. And this is why we want to give suggestions that have to do with our own data, with interests, with demographics, and just create a complete audience signal for our performance max campaigns. If you have any comments, if you have any thoughts, if you have any advice for the people who watch the video, make sure you type them down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Best of luck for your Google Ads campaigns and have a great day in any time zone.